Hi, I'm Matt Siddell with Trimac, and today we're going to be looking at three steps to get some mate-like functionality in your Composer projects. So as you can see here, we do already have our model imported, we have our default view set up, and we can see what we have for our actors here. What we're going to be doing is going to be in the Transform tab, and we're going to be focusing in the Align Pivots, and the Kinematic Subtabs. So for step one, we're going to want to create some relations between our different actors, and we're going to do that using our Link Child to Parent. This tool is pretty simple to use, where we're just going to click on a child and the actor we want to have be the parent, and we're just going to continue to select through our actors. And this tool will stay active while we are using it and then we can clear out of it at the end with escape or by deselecting it up in the ribbon. And in our assembly tab we can now see that we have this nice indented tree of our actors based on the relations that we set up. So the next thing we're going to want to do for each of our actors is to define the pivot. And the way we're going to do this is we'll select one of our actors, come into the Set Pivot tool, and we're going to come down to Online Axis, and we're going to try and look for a cylindrical edge or surface around our axis of rotation that we're looking for. Don't worry about the triads for now. Those can be adjusted later on once we have all of our pivots set. So I'm going to go ahead and speed things up as I make these selections, just to make this a little bit quicker. Okay, now with that complete, we can take a look at how our triads are oriented using the multiple gizmos tool and selecting everything. And they're all kind of pointing in various directions, so we can fix that before moving on to the last step by doing a line pivot with the world axis. And this will just make step three a little bit easier to go in and define our kinematic links. That being said, we're going to, again, start with uh, one of our actors here. Except now we're going to come into our properties tab. We're going to come down to the kinematic, kinematic link. And for most of these, we're going to be using the pivot link type, and we'll be defining our axis of rotation. And to get a better view on what we are setting up for our degrees of freedom and what has had a degree of freedom defined, we can turn on this Hide Show Degrees of Freedom tool, and you can see that we have our axis of rotation being indicated to us in the graphics area. And again, we can come in and set up our pivots. Again, I'm going to speed this up to kind of uh, keep things moving. And I did create all of our pivot links. And the last thing we need to do is this one arm because of its child-parent relationship with the other arm, we're not going to be using a pivot link. We're going to be using a rigid link. And that's the only variation we have in this particular project. So with that now defined, uh, it does look like this is set incorrectly. I can correct that real quick, which is a good usage of that degrees of freedom viewing tool. And with that complete, we can now disable that, come back to our views, and now is a good time to update our view, saving all of our work. If I turn on the kinematic free drag, we can now grab our assembly, grab one of our actors, and start moving our assembly around and creating some new views.
And with that, we can go into the Home tab and turn on our animations. Even though we're effectively done at this point, we can quickly go in and start dropping in our views and create a quick animation and have that animation end at the starting view so that we can have a nice repeating animation if we would like that. And we can go ahead and click play and watch as our animation works. It does look like we need to apply our default view to our starting position, and that's fine. Now when we do it, we can see that we get a nice, smooth, and clean motion through our different view states for our animation. I hope this was helpful learning these three easy steps to streamline your view and animation creation in